uh, nag-iba lang yung expression, ano? Pero alam natin yung need or at least we try, no? Uh, to teach, for example, as it starts in the family nga, we uh, try to teach our children to have a stand on something. And uh, yung hindi lang ba sila isisway, no? Kasi ganyan naman ang buhay, di ba? You survive when you try to have a very concrete stand on something, ano? Yung wag ka lang madadala lang ng sabi nga ni Ted, anong narinig mo, anong sinabi sa'yo, eh, yung squad mo, punta dito, punta doon, sabi yan, sabi to, susundin mo na lang, squad mo eh, di ba? Parang ganyan. <laughs> oh, but anyway, uh, so is it wrong to be woke? Ah, no, um... I don't think I don't think it, it's wrong, no. Um, speaking of starting in the family, starting it in the family. So um, we engage our children, and sabi nga ni Ted, no. Um, it begins with something that they can relate to, no. So alam nyo ang pagiging woke. Hindi naman to nangyayari ng pag college ka na. Sabi ko nga e eh, civics grade two, oh. Yung anak ko, oh. isang anak ko, oh the qualities of a good leader. So, uh, what we try to do lang is to process it and say, no, so in the greater society, no, uh, ganito naman yan, no, pero yung concepts, yung basic concepts, sabi nga ni Ted, ng fairness, justice, yung ano yung karapatan mo, no, uh, naaaral na nila yan as young as grade 2. So, uh, should, do we allow our kids to be, to be woke? Uh, yeah, uh, if it means allowing them no, to be exposed to society no, and the good and bad facets of it and uh, they are able to form their own opinions, no, uh, of course, under our guidance as parents, uh, yes, definitely, no, definitely, it's it's good for kids to, to be woke. No? So, kaya, as, as I said, no, we don't overwhelm them with, uh, you know, Philippine sovereignty. Dapat ganyan. You know? <laughs> <laughs> grade one pa lang po. So, we, we, <laughs> we explain it. We explain it in the context of, okay, son, so you have a house and uh, you have a lot title and it says your territory, no? You, you can only live up to this part of the house. <laughs> Therefore, anything outside of the house is that yours. <laughs> so, that's how we, we try to to explain no about territorial boundaries maybe no so uh, you on no and then uh, do we do we allow them to comment on uh, social media well uh, in the same way before na siguro uh, my own mother and uh, my own parents would ask me na oh naku ha wag kang sasali sa mga rally rally <laughs> So ngayon being a parent no uh eh syempre medyo mas may freedom na sila they they have social media account so uh dapat ba silang mag-comment should they comment do we allow them do we allow them to post no uh it, it's not a requirement no uh but they can do so provided that they have an understanding ito yung sinasabi ko kanina provided that they have an understanding of the possible consequences of what they will say Kaya under our guidance. So we'll say na anak, if you say something like that, be prepared, you know, to be to be contradicted, to be attacked, no? So uh, we also tell them that social media, the soft med culture is very toxic, no? So uh union, if they feel very strongly about a particular issue at hand, no? Um, for as long as they are not exposed to unnecessary risks, no, uh, we allow them. We allow them to express their. Risks.